Hello bookworms! Today I'm going to be doing a vlog video, or actually it'll be a series of days because it's already around the time that I go to sleep, so I don't know how much later I'll be up tonight. I was making a list the other day in my bullet journal of my goals for the autumn season, and one of my top goals is to finally film my bookshelf tour for the year because I am months behind on that. Part of the reason that I haven't done it is because I just haven't been happy with my bookshelves. Like I keep trying and like there are certain shelves that I really like, but overall I'm not like, yes, this is what I want. <laughs> I thought that maybe it would be fun to kind of vlog my process. I'm going to be maybe taking everything off and just starting from scratch, which I haven't done in a while. I usually tend to like just move things here and there and that really hasn't been working for me. So hopefully this will work. <laughs> We shall see. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is taking off these fairy lights because I feel like they haven't even really been very noticeable in videos. They kind of fall down a lot, which is frustrating. So I just want to take them down and then, then we'll see where I go from there. Step one, complete. And I realize that I feel like I look like I'm telling a ghost story because I'm standing directly in front of one light, which I'm about to turn off because it is really hot in here and I forgot to turn the air conditioner on, so good job, Kristen. I think my next step is going to be to pull everything off of the shelves and then I think what I want to do is make shelves more similar heights and then group together books that are the same height and kind of organize them by genre and color, which sounds complicated and I feel like it will be as I do it, but it's a process. Here we go. Okay, so it is the next morning and I've actually made a bunch of progress. I'm way more of a morning person than a night person, unfortunately, because I always have to stop before work and go there. So, oh well. But I feel really good about what I've done so far and I'm very much looking forward to coming home tonight and working on them more. You can see a little bit of it behind me, but I feel like I have the heights and color thing down and now it's just a matter of like, figuring out everything else, but I always work on my like two main bookshelves in the middle beforehand and then I work on that one and that one, the outer ones afterward. So that's kind of my process right now. But yeah, I'm gonna see what else I can get done before I need to start getting ready. So this is what I have managed to do so far, but you will notice all of these piles of books lining my floor, so that's fun. Um, clearly I still have a ways to go, but I am really happy with how that looks so far. So much more progress, and I've added leaves to my shelves because autumn. Sorry, the air conditioner's on, so you can probably hear that. Um, see this giant empty shelf right here? This is going to be the home to my new hardcover editions of the mortal instruments. They should be coming in the mail very soon and that's why there's a giant gaping hole there. But otherwise, I am just loving this. This is like making my heart smile. All right, I think I'm finally happy with my bookshelves. This is like the most exciting moment ever because I've been working on this for, gosh, I think from noon today and now it's like after six. So it's been like six hours, which is quite a long time. And the only reason I was able to do that is because my building at work got evacuated today. So we got sent home at like noon, which was beneficial since I wanted to work on my shelves and finish before the weekend. So I'm happy about that, but I hope that my building is okay. But anyway, I think I'm down to like the final things. I have all of the books in place, like everything's where I want it to go. The only thing that I have left to do is to put out my little like knickknacks and candles and like, you know, place them around on the shelves. I think the two main ones are finished, but I have to do the other ones and then be done and then I can film a bookshelf tour for you. Woo! Hello again. It is after work on Friday. I had the worst day ever. <laughs> I'm so glad to be home. Number one, because the Dragon Prince just came out on Netflix today and I cannot even tell you how excited I am 
to watch that. I've been like counting down the days since it was announced because it's by the same creators who did Avatar The Last Airbender and I've watched the trailer for it like a million times. So all that I have done today has just been like eight more hours until Dragon Prince, seven more hours until Dragon Prince, just like intense countdown. So I just got home from work and I had a package from Amazon, which was really exciting because it had two books that were going on my shadow hunter shelf so over here i just opened up the hardcover of city of heavenly fire and then i also opened up the hardcover of the bane chronicles so now my shelf is slightly fuller and I'm, i think i'm going to turn one of these out so that way it looks even more full at the moment but it looks like the rest of my books the like hard covers of books one through five aren't gonna be arriving until next Thursday which I am really upset about because I really wanted to film my bookshelf tour this weekend because I am so happy with my shelves like I can't even tell you how ambivalent I have felt about them for like months at this point even before moving and then moving redoing everything which you would think would make me happy but I've like kind of just always felt like there was something missing, like something that I just wasn't doing. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I mean, I'm sure you know what I mean because book lovers, but I finally feel so good about them and like I'm at the point where I keep leaving my room so that I could come into this room and just look at my shelves because I just love them that much. But I'm actually going away next weekend, so sadly I am not going to be able to film my bookshelf the next weekend either which that's why I'm so upset that these aren't coming yet because I really want to do it this weekend but alas I'll just have to do it a little bit later. I think I'm also going to include some footage from some things that I'm doing tomorrow and later on today because why not make it a full official vlog right? Right. Anyway that's all. That's all for now. Okay I have to go watch the Dragon Prince. Goodbye. morning so I just woke up and yesterday I had a really fun day getting dim sum and milk and cream cereal bar with Alexa and Rachel and then they came back to my apartment and we watched Your Name which is such a beautiful film. Today Andrew and I are gonna be decorating our apartment for fall and then I'm gonna be filming a bookshelf tour. I'm really excited because this is what I was building toward with organizing everything so I feel really good about it. I really can't wait to share it with you guys. Show you a couple other scenes from my day. I'm also gonna try to read more of Name of the Wind because I have been buddy reading that with Holly and it's been really enjoyable and I have been annotating the heck out of my book. <laughs> There's like so many tabs on it. I have so many theories. I feel like every day I come home and I'm like, Andrew, here's another thing in Name of the Wind. And he's like, okay, calm down. <laughs> so we're gonna go and get breakfast sandwiches. I'm gonna get my first pumpkin spice latte of the season. We're gonna do an Articuno raid because those are going on. And then I'm gonna come film. All right, so we are walking to do our Articuno raid, but we caught Lapras's. We're so excited. There's an event now where all the Kanto Pokemon are out, and, and these guys are ours. I, we both already had them, but you can't pass up the chance for one. And it's supposed to be 80 degrees out today, so naturally I'm wearing a Halloween dress. That is long sleeves. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. I need coffee. Back to our raids. We just got back home. I got my first pumpkin spice frappuccino of the season. I ended up getting a frappuccino instead of a latte because it is warm outside <laughs> and I don't think my long sleeve dress was helping but oh my god it's so good. These just make me so happy and this is Mimikyu and he's here because I'm wearing a Halloween dress so he fits in with ghost things. But now we're gonna decorate for fall and then I'm gonna film my bookshelf tour. Woo! Mm. 
this is our absolute favorite scene in Over the Garden Wall, which everyone should watch. Beatrice, why are you pretending I'm this guy's nephew? We need money. You're scamming him? I was thinking more like flat out stealing from him. What? No way. Why not? We already stole a horse. Hey guys. No, we didn't. Fred's a talking horse. He can do whatever he wants. I want to steal. <laughs> So these are always decorations, but it turns out that we had a lot less fall stuff than I remembered. And I think it's because we got rid of a lot of it when we were moving. So this is really the bulk of our fall decorating, but I love it. This is also all the time decorations, but that pumpkin is obviously there for fall. But I did do, I don't think I've ever showed this to you guys, so I'm just showing you now so that you can see it. Oh, when Andrew and I were getting married, his family gave us this at our rehearsal dinner and it's me and him in our Hogwarts robes. I filmed one bookshelf so far on my bookshelf tour so I'm feeling pretty good but I'm getting water because <laughs> I involve so much chopping and I have some lovely Lord of the Rings candles going which I will show you. Today I am burning Second Breakfast by Wake and Fable and Hobbit Hole by Canterbury Road Co. I just finished filming my bookshelf tour. It took hours <laughs> and I'm pretty excited about it though I can't wait to share it with you guys and yeah hmm I'm thinking because I'm going to uh, an event tomorrow at Books of Wonder for Escaping Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco so I'm trying to decide if I want to wrap this vlog up now and then start a new vlog for that which I think I do yeah this is gonna be the end of this one so I will catch you later bye